Okay, so welcome to part four of building a social network inside using Wix. Right now, I will be showing you how to add a sign up form, a custom sign up form to the Wix web, to the, so, to your social network in Wix. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna show you how to add the sign up form. I will also be covering the login form in another video and the profile looking like how it looks when the people create a profile, how their profile will look. I will be doing a video of that after. Right now I'm just gonna show you how they can create their profile and put their email and their password to sign up and then with that they can log in. So the first thing I did for that is add a light box, okay? So um here are menus and pages if you go to light boxes um I added this light box where the people can sign up. Um you can add a page to instead of a light box if you want but I prefer adding a light box because light boxes have more functions right for building a social network in Wix I will highly recommend you to add a light box it's just more functions more comfortable more com I don't know um more comfortable there more like yeah more looks better and all of those things so to do the sign up form what i did is i added a sign up text in the light box if you don't know how to add a light box this is very easy you just go to add you go down to interactive and you go down there to light boxes i started with this welcome full screen um, light box and then change it onto this grade sign up form. So what I did in this sign up form, I just added a text that said sign up so that the people know that they're in the sign up light box. So what I did to add a text is I went to add, I went there to text and I just used a text there. You can add animations to the text, you can change the font and all of those things. And I added those two inputs. So I added email input and password input. So um, the email input, I just got an input field for it, right? The same that for the password. So to add an input field, um, I also have a video specified on that topic of adding input fields in Velo by Wix. But I'm just going to show you here a specific for this for email and password. So you just go to add, you go down to input and you just choose for email and for password. You can only choose text input and that's it. The other, t the other ones, like the other, um, input elements were for something else, no matter which text input, but it needs to be a text input, not a text box or a rich text or a red buttons or check boxes or drop down or selection text or date and time or a slider or upload buttons or ratings or address input or switch or signature input, just text input you can do for email and password. Now for other things, you could have Add many of those things also something that you can add also that I didn't add in my social network but that you can add in your social network if you want is our captcha button so that's something that verifies that you are not a robot so that the they know that the person that signed up to your social network is not a robot so when I added the email input here, I went to the settings. Of course, I changed the placeholder text to email. I put this field required. 
and now the type since it is an email, I set it to email. I only put to show the initial text placeholder text. Now for the password, I did it a little bit different. So I put the type for it to be password because it is a password and the placeholder text to be password and show initial text only the placeholder text initial text. And now this field is required. Now I also added this button so that they can submit what they sign up. Of course, to all these elements, you can add animations, you can get some Wix help there and all of those things. But in this video, we are not covering that. So for this in order to work, I added some code in the code panel there. So the code that I added is all this code there. Um, that code will be in the description of this video, okay? All that code there will be in the description of this video. So, um, I have another video of how to add a sign up form in a video on a page, but it's basically the same thing. Um, so, um, it's like the same code, everything. So you can see that video where I will be showing you like, what the code means and all of those things. I'm going to show you right now also what the code means and all of those things. So this thing that says there, button 2, is this submit button. So if you change this to submit, then you will need to change this to submit also. Or if not, it would not work. So um, if you change like the, the thing to hashtag submit, then this you need to change it to hashtag submit too. Or if not, it would not work. The same with the email and the password. Here we have let email and we know that is the email and let password and we know that it's the password. But if you want to change it to even know even more, now you just click on that and let's just put email. Bad, it wouldn't just get it like that if you change it. You have to put email there too. So hashtag email. Now with the password, if you change it to hashtag password, like that, if you change the ID to password, now you will need to change this ID to password too. I'm not sure if hashtag is this symbol or that symbol only on social media because I don't know. Sometimes I get confused with all of those things there. So I'm just going to put call it ID. So the ID I'm just going to put their password because we change the other thing to password. Or if not, it would not get it. Now this, it says, now... And we're gonna tell you what this code means. So it says Wix dot register email and password. So that means when the email and password field are registered, so when they click the submit button, then send the Wix location to a page where they will create their profile. I just did this create your profile page. So how did I get this little link there? Because that's not the full link, that is just this log. So how did I get this log? Well, to do, to get this log, I went to menus and pages. I went to the page that I added that is the create new profile, your, create your profile page. I clicked those three periods. And I went to SEO Google and then I copied this slug. Um, see, I copied this slug and paste it here on this page. I guess your page will have a different slug. Maybe the same one, but a different. Is that a different? Then you have to change the slug in the name if it has a different slug, if your page has a different slug. Yeah, so if your page that you added to create your profile, for people to create your profile, 
Hi, Teddy Frank. Just log in. Please change this now. Now I'm gonna show you that create your profile page that is part of the sign up form. So when they click submit, if it, it, it was like um, good, right? If they could submit it, they will be redirected to that page that I just told you. So I'm gonna show you that page so that you can see how I made it. So I'm just gonna go there to many some pages. And gonna go there to the side menu. Here, as you see, I have this create your profile page. So I added this create your profile name there. And to create a page, of course, to create a page, it's very easy and I guess you already know it. Just go to many some pages and then click add a page. Put the name of the page and that's it. Okay, so I have there the page, the create your profile page. So in that page, I added this first name input. And that input, I connected it to data. To what data? Well, to the create your profile data set. That's a data set that I made. To create a data set, you just need to go here to content manager Um, go there to the. Wait, um, wait a second. It's not like that. I'm very sorry. Um, it's not like that. Usually you don't you don't do it. Oh yeah. Wait, no, you don't do it like that. You have to click first name and then click connect to data. Now we will ask you to create a data set. You just click create data set and you'll put the data set name there. The data set, it will ask you where, to what data space it will be connected. Well, you have to put that it needs to be connected to the profile data space, right? And the profile database. Excuse me, and the profile database, I will show you how to create it in the next part of this series. I know this sounds a little bit confusing, but yeah, on the next part of this series, I'll show you how to create a database for that. It is very easy. I'm just going to walk you through it for now so that you can see how the database looks. So if you go there to the profile thing, for the profile database. I will go on it another time in another episode here, but I'll still show you like through it, right? So here it, we have the created date of the profile, the first name of the profile, the last name of the profile, the bio of the profile, the image of the profile, the background image of the profile and the user name of the profile. I will be walking you through that in the next part of this series, okay? Um, so here I connected that to data. So it is the first name database. So the first name in like field in the database. I'm gonna walk you, through. if you don't know like how to create a database and all of those things, then I will be walking you through that in the next part. So I connected this to data and value connected to the first name because it is the first name. Now I added this other input. Um, I forgot to show you, yeah, both of them are set to text and all the settings there, so those required. And I also have this, so connect to data and the data set that I just told you and the value is connected to the last name because this is the last name. Now this is text also because this the last name is text. I also added this thing called username. I don't know if you know what a username is. 
in social networking website, but most of the social networking website, for example, Facebook and Twitter, have usernames. Usernames is like something we add, and then you put their like and like a created like name there. And then I will go like in another thing. I will walk walking you through that of the username and all of those things in another part of this series also. I added this ad so that I know that they will include an ad at the username and now this username input, which I set the type to text. The placeholder text is username. The field is required. And he also added this bio. I will be looking you through all those things in another. And I mean, also, I forgot to tell you, I connected this to data. So to the same data set and this, I connected the, the value I connected to the username value. Now let's hop into the bio one. So, um, of course, this is text because it is a bio. For this, I added a text box instead of a text input. So to add a text box, I just went to Y, go into input, and went to text box instead of text input. A text box is like like a text input, but it is like bigger and like yeah, like looks better for like descriptions and bios and all of those things. So I have that, of course connected it to data to the same data set that I told you before and the field the value connects to bio in the settings I just call this bio I did not put it require because people are not like putting a bio in their profile I set it as optional I will show you that of the profile like page and all of those things in another video here on this playlist and I also added this picture thing so to add that picture thing I just want to add went down to input went down to upload buttons and got this picture one where they can upload their profile picture So yeah, there they can upload the profile picture. You can design the animations and all of those things, the same as in this one. So um, I added in the pitch, the bottom text to be picture. I didn't put this required because pe putting a, a profile picture, I set it as optional and all of those things. So we have there the initial text, the bottom text and all of those things. Um, I'm usually not gonna show the initial text. I'm gonna show the file name only. And the same one in this one that I will be showing you after. Just ignore this thing that I did. Of course, you can do it on your own, but ignore when I did. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying. So, um, here, the support file type. Since it is a picture, I set the supported file type to image. Of course, I connected this to data. I connected this to the creator profile data set that I told you about before. And now the file, I connected it to image. The file connected to image. Now I also added this background picture, which is not the same as picture. The one of picture is just like a circle picture there that appears in the profile a mini picture there of the person or of their company or whatever that appears there on their profile now their background picture is something that appears on the background that of all their profile yeah mm. so here we have the background picture one for this i added the same upload picture um thing but I change it a little bit. So the profile type of first image because it is a picture, it's not a video. And now the field, this field is, I don't, I didn't set it required. I put that it is optional to have a background picture. So I have all that. I show, um, the bottom text. I set it to background picture and I put the field name only. 
of course, I connected this to data. So I connected this to the data set that I talked about with you before. And now the field file connects to background image. Now I have this create profile button. So this button, I just got it from here. So show you just how to add a little button here. So I just want to add one down to bottom. And for this example, I choose this button. So I have that there. I said the text to create profile. You can choose an icon if you want. I did not do that. And of course, they sign animation, all of those things, the same as the other one. Um, and now this will be connected to data so that it submits the data and usually um, saves it to the database. So connected data set, like the, yeah, the data set name is this one that I showed you before, about before. Now the click action will connect to submit. You'll put this is connect to submit. Here, if you click add success message, you can add a success message. And here, if you want, you can add a failure message also. I just added a failure message and not a success message. And why did I do that? Well, because um, instead of doing like, like, like when it is a failure, put a failure message, when it is a success, put a success message. I still did that when it is a failure, put a failure message. And when it is a success, link it to a page, like go to a page, and that page will be a dynamic page. And that dynamic page is the profile username, is the profile dynamic page, which I have right there on the menu, some pages thing. I will be walking you to that page in another episode of this playlist, in another, yeah, video of this playlist. And now we want successful navigate to that, yes, yeah, I told you before. But if you want, you can also add a success message. Although I will recommend you that when successful, navigate them to this profile page, which is a dynamic page of their profile. Um, I will be walking you through adding like a dynamic page and designing it and all of those things in another episode of this series. So I added that create profile button. And then when they create that profile, it will be sent to the create pro, uh, to the profile database. Their profile will be sent to the create profile that they said when they, once they put all of those things there. Here is that said thing. So as you can say how I let it say looks. You can manage the contents, you can go to settings. So, and this is what they will ask you, right? To choose a col connect a collection. So the connection I connected profile, as I told you before, now the that is the name, I put this name, and now the mode, you just set it to write, you, you need to set it to write only for the purpose of this. And yeah. Okay, so now that I have um, explained how to add a sign-up thing to the, your Wix social network, now bye, this was all the video.